coming mid here. Well, I'm going to mainly watch Shrugger, because Shrugger has been having an amazing land so far. He's had a little bit of time to cool off, so we'll see, but he may he may make his mark here. Yeah, he's certainly done a lot for Elevate so far in this game, and he's going to try to continue to do so. Great getting some big jumps straight across mid. He's already inside of their house. 20B is taking control of Elevate side, and Elevate has done the same to 20B side, but a couple of frags coming through now for Elevate. Ninja Nick and Paragon have both gone down, and Grape getting blasted out of the sky by Badonsky. A huge pipe from Badonsky. He takes down Ash as well with yet another pipe, and what a start to this map here for Elevate. Badonsky doing work with the pipes here. They're going to pick up this mid. KBK stayed alive during this mid as well, so they're going to have a pretty sweet ad here coming into it, Marxist. Yeah, and Sizer actually tried to test out that mid, too, to see if he could block it, since there was only one guy on it. Sizer having an excellent land as well, but I mean, but at this point, you expect excellence from Sizer at land. Sharger gonna try and mess with Grape. Not really gonna happen. Badonski getting healed there. Not capping the Spire anymore as Elevate. They gotta make sure they take care of that, because 20B wants to mess with them. All right, so now... They're going to drop down onto Bats to break this forward hold. 20B is trying to hold them up to buy time. It's nearly worked. They're 30% behind 20 now. Out, Mela goes down. That may slow everything down, but it looks like they want to go ahead and go, but they've waited too long. They're probably not going to be able to get the med here. No, they are not. So the Uber is popped out, and that will probably be it for Elevate unless something crazy happens. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, KBK goes down to Ash there. Deadbolt was able to pick up on a couple of frags with his sticks as well. Mela was in, was able to get Ash, and Deadbolt picked up on yet another onto Shrugger with those pipes. So that will be successful hold there for 20B. As you said, Elevate just seemed to wait a little bit too long. I mean, they did lose Mela coming in, but they, they did have some advantage. But still credit to 20B for playing that forward hold. Bought themselves some time to get their Uber back up. So now they're going to be looking to push into mid here. A big bomb coming through for Mela. He was able to get in, but no frags there. And a couple players going down. Actually, Grave was able to get in on the KBK, take him down. And Paragon gets decimated as well. So three players make that four players out of the equation as Paragon going off with his scatter gun there as he's trying to get in mid Badonski is so hurt right now 1 HP 2 HP excuse me going forward and he's gonna have to back out with Shrugger here as 20B gets a commanding hold of this mid here moving forward and nice full add yeah I, I don't mind Elevate's decision to push there they just didn't guard their flank well enough Grape uh Grape got in and they got kind of disconnected their Uber is popped and lower though so the Uber from Ninja Nick comes out. Maybe they were trying to do the old cheeky break the forward by running in uh, an Ubered player underneath, but the cap on second is coming out. Alpha gets obliterated in the sky by Here Grape. comes Shrugger, too. He's trying to get in on the Ninja Nick. Oh, just, just missed it. Ninja Nick getting a huge arrow kill on the Shrugger. It was so close to taking him down, but he managed to keep himself alive. And if they play this correctly, I'm not sure if they're going to go straight in for it, but they are going to have some... Definitely some uh, clear uber advantage here to work in with once they wait for it. KBK still has a couple seconds yet on the spawn and now just getting up. So it's going to be 45% add here. Definitely uh, some good room to work with. And this is one of those lasts, isn't it, Marxist, where if you have that full uber add, you should be able to take this last point in theory. Yeah, and also the pyro and alpha has shown himself, so they know... They know about that little scheme, but they should be getting ready to go with this Uber. We'll see what they decide to do, but usually the typical tactic is you're just going to throw a scout into that pyro, and he should be able to deal with him pretty quickly. Okay, we've got our Uber now. Let's see. They should move. Okay, here we go. The scout leads into the pyro. Both scouts into the pyro. Kind of took a little bit longer than you'd like. Grape gets killed. Decimate going to get knocked out by Deadbolt. Nice little pipe there. Shrugger is going to get Sizer, but Mela and Shrugger are both going to go down, and that is going to be... Oh, maybe not! Madonski <laughs> made them wait just a bit longer. Uh, 20B will go get the first round. Yeah, solid stuff from them. Looked a little bit shaky when they decided to throw that Uber straight into lobby there and weren't really able to get too much with it, but uh, in the end, turned out for the better for 20B. They came out on top of that round, taking a quick... One to nothing lead here off the start of this first map in our best of three 
in this lower bracket finals here. Winner going on to play Froyo Tech. And Melo's all the way behind him in choke right there. Played sneaky behind him. Just missed that shot on a great air shot. And Melo actually goes down. Shrugger will go down as well, along with Alpha. Now KBK's going to be stuck out here in mid. And this is going to be tough for him to get out of here as he's got a... Ash incoming towards him right now. Did get a little something off. KBK should be going down. There's the wipe from 20B. Gonna get this midpoint though. Uh, Elevate was able to get Ninja Nick there, so that'll at least delay this push into last at least. They won't have a clear full Uber ad to get into last with. Yeah, we'll see what they decide to do here with second, because they could contest it uh, fairly easily. But we got Grape. Both soldiers up on top of there. They're going. There's Mela and Alpha together. Grape is going to kill himself on the side of the spire. Maybe that's an MGE trick he learned. And Ash is going to go down. Shrugger is going to go down. Sizer and Paragon are going to go down in the choke. They got too close together. And the Demo Man makes them pay. Ninja Nick is jumping around, but he's not going to make it. But Donsky gives him the, uh, the courtesy pipe. <laughs> Yeah, Badonski is uh, doing some work there with the sticks and the pipes, and Elevate with a good response coming back out. They saved that second point just barely, and uh, excellent response from them. They got out now, they've wiped 20B, and they're going to have some pretty big advantage here to work in with, about 70%. So they're capping Spire right now, they're getting ready. 20B currently in a forward hold, but they're not going to be able to keep this for too long, I'd imagine, as uh, you're going to have KBK coming in here shortly along with the rest of the crew here to work in with this Uber, and they've got it ready to go, and he is hurt, so he's going to have to pop it off early, trying to send some scouts forward. Shrugger's going to go in there, but there is a sentry up that is still firing away at them, and a few players from Elevate quite hurt at the moment as well, so they're going to have to play this well. They do take down that sentry, but it looks like Badonski could go down here in a second, very hurt. But it'll be Decimate and Alpha that go down instead. Paragon will get exchanged out to fall as well. So it's a four on three here. Two on four as it is in favor of 20B. KBK and Badonski have to get themselves out of here. And this is going to be uh, tight. Ash is trying to get in for them possibly. As uh, Deadbolt's going to come forward as well. Just bullying them out of the second point. So should be a Spire cap here for 20B as they move forward. They have the full Uber as well. They're closing in on the Ninja Nick. He had to pop it off. Badonski getting rocked by a rocket from Grave there. Deadbolt's gonna go down though during the exchange, so a pretty decent pick there for Elevate to move back forward with if they want to. Kited the Uber well, as uh, though now they're starting to die out here and they lost three players. KBK is at 80% on this Uber all the way back in choke if he can try to make it away, maybe just even get a saw or something to uh, stay in here. Trying to save Badonski who gets the pipe on a sizer and now KBK will meet up with Badonski here, but they have a whole storm of 20B coming in towards Spire right now. Yeah, and 20B's taking the smart way. They're going to the right. We'll see a trash-based fight here. And there we go. So, yeah, you grab trash there, get afraid of the Spire, and now they're going to pull back. So we'll see an even Uber situation here, but Shrugger is on the move, maybe? No, not quite just yet. There's a lot of players in the flank here. Yeah, there they go. They're actually going to go for the aggressive off of second push, which is really rare. Ash is going to go down in it early. Got caught in the house. If everyone else on Elevate can survive, this will work out really great. They are flooding through the choke now as 20B. They're going to take out Alpha, but Deadbolt and Ninja Nick are going to go down. Decimate also out of here, but that's maybe the end for 20B. I don't know. There we go. Ooh. Paragon's going to die. We got a flank behind. Oh. But he's gonna get knocked out as well. So there's mid for Elevate. They're still fighting behind. Grape has almost no help. There he goes. <laughs> almost got in on to KBK there. Sizer did just not quite as I hear a sniper up. That's actually Ash who's up on sniper now. So he's wanna he's gonna try and work something. I think he's gonna go back out now and switch out back to scout or excuse me, soldier <laughs> as. Uh, He's meeting back up with his team here. KBK does have some pretty significant ads here. And 20B, for the time being, is sitting in towards his choke, but they realize they're at a disadvantage here. They've had to back up all the way to Spire now, and Elevate's getting themselves together, getting the buffs out. They're all inside of house, deciding to take this house side once again instead of through choke with the ad that they have. So they're going to start working on through here. KBK's taking it on the flank side, actually, with Melo was getting some heals out that way. They don't seem like they know exactly what they want to do with this here. Is, uh, they're kind of spread at the moment, and they did lose a player as well. It was Alpha, and Ninjanik is at about 75, 70% 70 
Amazuba here. Decimate's gonna go down as well, and Elevate had the advantage, but not able to capitalize on it. Great air stick, though, onto Great that Madonski was able to get off. 20B trying to push themselves back into this mid here. Paragon goes down, though, in the middle of the push, and the Uber gets popped off from Elevate as KBK sending Mela forward, and he's gonna go in and try maybe to get something onto Ninja Nick, but Mela will just elect to go ahead, jump around into trash, and be a nuisance, grab that pack inside of Lobby maybe, but now we're gonna kinda even out here as, well, not necessarily even out as they do have a pretty big ad here, Ninja Nick does, and company, they have it ready to go, sitting in this choke, so we should see a push here shortly, and Mela's still behind as well. Yeah, Mela's in Lobby just messing around with them, but this push should come through here. They don't have any soldiers, so your ability to force them is pretty low, unless the scout has the greatest play of the land, and that doesn't look like we've got that in the cards. So we've still got Mela back here. He's flying forward now, running around in-house, but uh, they're spamming him, but he could have a really big play here. As uh, Well, they see him now, so... They're either going to chase him around, and that's they send two players back for him. He might die. He gets a little health back. Paragon's going to pistol him out. So there's that. They, uh, However, they knocked away enough time in that, wasting time on um, stuck behind Mela, that uh, the Ubers equalized. However, Shrugger goes down in a sickie, or a pipe, rather. So that'll be the end of Elevate holding second, probably. You know, they're pushing on through here. Paragon went down to a sticky trap from Badonski, but regardless, 20B getting very aggressive onto this choke here, and they're getting caught inside a trash. KBK almost dropped that Uber, barely popped it off in time to save himself and Badonski. And all oh, this is excellent, keeping KBK out. They're body blocking, and they take him down as well. Fantastic plays there from Street Hoops, and now they're going to work straight on into last year. There's only two players up. It's Mela and Badonski. Make it just Badonski here, who has to try and defend this point off. He's trying to block it off, manages to get two frags, but not quite able to hold off the rest of the 20B squad there as they will come through, pick up a second round there, making it 2-0. to zero. Yeah, just a few little mistakes there from Elevate, but uh, fairly close game so far, so I am, I am pleased. But we'll go on to this one. next mid. See if Elevate can come out on top of one of these mids here. They haven't really been able to do too much with them so far, but uh, still plenty of time for them to work with. They're down two rounds here. It's great. And 20B trying to work on their side this time, and Elevate will directly contest them here, but Badonski is the first frag to go down here, and Grape and Deadbolt both have uh, gotten finished off here in this mid as well, and frags coming across the board here from both sides. 20B with only two players up, though. It's Ninja Nick and Ash who are trying to make themselves out of there. Ash was able to get KBK, though, which is a very significant pick for them, and Ninja Nick was able to keep himself alive as well, so they will have some Uber ad here, definitely, and Ash is all the way back there lurking. Yeah, they're just gonna stack up on this and uh, wait for the onslaught because you, you really wanna force this Uber when it comes from mid. Then that way you're not in that bad of a situation and your game can continue on. But we already got Sizer peeking at this point. Careful not to stand on it so they don't realize he's there just yet. And uh, looks like they're, they're going to get Ash, so that's nice. You want... You want a quick kill there? They're backing up into choke. The team takes a ton of damage. But then the Uber has popped off. Everybody has to scatter now. But this is a terrible situation for 20B. Just like with their Froyo matches. If you hang around on mid too long, you're gonna die because of the way spawns work in this game. And they are all getting wiped out. Ninja Nick is dead to rights to the scout. Shrugger, 70 oh. health. Ash is trying to save him though. Ah, uh, Shrugger's oh, gonna man. make it out with four health. Six out, excuse me. <laughs> oh, so, so close there. I mean, regardless, KBK's gonna have some advantage. Badonski going straight in onto the point there. Fantastic heads up play from Badonski. Just sticky jumps straight onto the point. 20B was caught sleeping with their pants down. And that will be a round straight back for Elevate there. Heads up play all around though uh, from the boys holding off 20B there. It's gonna be two to one. Yep, can't catch Z's on Badonski's watch. He will cap your point and make you lose a round. Oh, yes. Very much so. As we see Grape going for some big jumps, he's going to be all the way inside of the Elevate house right now, having some extracurriculars with it. Alpha over there, but not quite able to find the frags. Ninja Nick going down, though. Shrugger will take care of him, and that is a big pick for them on this mid here. KBK is still alive, keeping it up 
with 70 health, managed to stay alive there, and they will wipe 20B, elevate completely here on this mid, getting straight in onto second already. As they get this mid cap, they're going to have some big uber add here as well. So the change in momentum, Marxist, is heavy here after elevate getting that last round there, and they should be able to come in and pick up yet another one if all goes well. Yeah, unfortunately, we got Badonski kind of extended here, but no scouts are quite brave enough to uh, put him in the sad zone. Elevate Scouts, Decimate, and Shrugger both have done an excellent job on these last two mids. Unfortunately, Mela is going to go down, but they're going to go ahead and Uber anyways. They're close enough, and the Sentry Gun's there, but oh, it's growing before your eyes, oh. and <laughs> it's killing them, but they can't wow. anyways! Oh my goodness, he just came in from the lower right there, I believe, and uh, once again, 20B kind of sleeping on the point. They were so focused on everything that was up top, and uh, that time... Scout able to get straight in onto the point, and yet another round going back to Elevate here, tying the playing field here at 2-2. Two to two. 20B rolled those first two rounds, Elevate coming straight back with two rounds of their own here, so we'll see. Mela's playing the delay game inside of mid here, could get a very quick pick onto Ninja Nick, gets one rocket, Ninja Nick up into the sky with so little health, and Shrugger finishes him off, and Frag's coming left and right here from Elevate on this mid, and they will be able to get Paragon here, I would assume, shortly he's lurking around, and that'll be a wipe for them coming through on this mid. Elevate just rolling with the momentum right now. Yeah, and they are headed off to two. This will be another quick glass push because KBK survived. Really nice play, coordinated play between Mela and Shrugger there to knock out Ninja Nick and disorganize their little bubble that they like to set up there, does uh, 20B. However, they are building the sentry gun and they have a Paragon Pyro on the field, so they're doing what they can. The Uber is going to come in. The Pyro got a scout directly into him. He's dead. Sentry gun never grows up. And they're on the point now. Ash is down there. Deadbolt is hiding in the pipe. Alpha on the point, but Decimate steps on it. No one there. And that will send us to halftime with Elevate leading. Three to two. Wow. That was uh, a large shift in momentum over half, like over the half there. That was uh, that was nuts. I mean, it. it you know, what do you what do you say about Elevate coming out there and getting those three rounds? I mean, to me, it kind of seems like. Uh, a lack of focus maybe on the point for 20B. I mean, Elevate just seems to just get in there. I mean, you know, shoot rockets a little bit and then just stand on the point and they're getting it. I mean, that they had pretty even numbers when they capped out there at the end of that as well. I mean, what do you, what do you say at that point to 20B? Yeah, it may be a map issue because a lot of teams, uh, you know, I, you wouldn't think that to be the case because this is the most played map in sixes, but a lot of teams do have problems defending this point and that may be the case for 20b the main thing that's happening is that elevate you know if i had a criticism to level against elevate through this whole season as they just didn't seem very coordinated and they have been pulling off some pretty nasty tricks at this land with coordinated plays and it catches 20b off guard Certainly, and elevate was the fourth seed coming into this event here and i don't necessarily think that People were expecting them to be putting up maybe as much of a fight as they are, but they have sh certainly showed themselves here so far. And a great comeback from Elevate there on that first half, down 2-0 to zero and just rolled. And I mean rolled with three straight rounds right back into them, uh, into 20B. And now they're looking at a lead going into halftime here. And we should be readied up here going into the second half, but... Uh, you know, as we kind of take a look at who's been doing some work here, I mean, I'm just looking at the in-game scoreboard, but once again, Shrugger is, uh, is beast mode. Yeah, <laughs> he has yeah. been all day. Yeah, I'll say it again, since we probably have new viewers, Shrugger's season 11 land problem is dead and buried. It's, it's gone. This guy is having a tremendous land. So, that's great. Decimate, too. Decimate has had, you know, he hasn't underperformed at LAN. It's not been, like, a problem for his team. But he has done really well this LAN as well. And it was great when we got to see his uh, multiple headshots in the one of the previous games uh, that we watched. It took me back in time to three years ago. <laughs> 
Oh yes, that's uh, it's been awesome to watch these two here, even uh, in in uh, in these games here for Shrugger and Decimate. They've just been doing great, and of course Paragon as well. Uh, for twenty B, he's been playing hot all day and continues to do so into this game here as well. So um, you know, the scouts really making big differences for both teams for a lot of the teams that have been here at Land this weekend. I mean, they've really had these strong scouts and. Uh, it's been it's been a treat to watch. It makes such a difference for their teams. But now we are going to be heading into this here. I got word that we will uh, be live here in just about two minutes, probably a little bit less than that now, more like a minute. So we should be uh, getting started here shortly, guys. As in case you are just joining us, elevate one that first half three to two in our final best of three here in this lower bracket finals. Loser of this best of three is done. They will be watching the rest of the series along with Mad Men from the sidelines. So uh, a lot on the line here in these final games. So, you know, what what's going to be your your key for 20B here to get themselves back into it? 20B has to stop. They need to sight Shrugger and Decimate early at the mid. So usually you have a player on the team that calls what they see early in the mid. So they're going right, they're going left, I see a scout here and there. They need to take sp specific uh, and a special precautions to make sure they know where Decimate and Trucker are. And that would help them a lot, because what's been getting them a lot of traction is they've been trying to aggressively bomb onto KBK, and they find both scouts there. And it's that's like impossible to get him at that point, and you just die. <laughs> well... Here we go. We're heading into the second half here. Elevate with a one round lead. It's three to two right now. And 20B also has to be careful of these plays that Mail has been making delay plays inside of mid as uh, he waits for them to get up on their side. But here he comes in, striking once again, coming through from the choke side. Takes down Paragon. Shrugger's going to pick up a frag on a hash and decimate, taking down Ninja Nick as well. A great start once again from Elevate here, though. KBK did go down. Actually, Sizer is keeping them in it for the time being. He did take down Mela. With a scatter gun shot, and he's going to come back out through choke here, seeing if he can contest a little bit with Decimate and Badonski, as they're the only two left on the mid. Uh, but it looks like he may go down here shortly. He's looking pretty bad on health. He's uh, running from both sides, and Decimate will seek him out. But Paragon's coming straight back into the mid here. They take down Badonski. Paragon falls, but Ash is there to clean up on the damage to decimate and 20b coming back in here elevate coming in as well the mid fight still going on here but mail is going to keep the pressure up in towards choke where most of 20b was trying to come in through so uh, that will hold them off elevate getting this midpoint the ubers relatively even as both meds did go down on the mid so we're going to see a stalemate period here at least until these guys can build up their ubers and uh, kind of see what picks they can come uh, get coming through here but elevate seeming to move towards the flank side a little bit at least a few of them well, there's a little surprise, yeah. though, and that's a Decimate Sniper Ooh, is standing yeah. at mid. So he, since he died there right at the end of the, the first phase of the mid, he said, ah, you know what, we'll have even Ubers, we're going to win mid, I'll go Sniper real quick. And this Sniper on Badlands mid to second is a pretty classic arrangement. Oh, but the Pike Ooh. spam is going to put a little hitch in his giddy up. And Grape is actually really hurt, too, so the, both teams are going to have to take a chill pill for a little bit. But we'll see Decimate get back in here. So he's going to shoot Sizer. He's he's getting rid of De Deadbolt Stickies. He tries to get the, the shot of the land and doesn't hit. Still looking to find this frag here. A quick peek out of the corner. And they have a nice setup here. Alpha standing on top of... Staying on top of the, uh, the the giant pole here that he can kind of rain down rockets. So Decimate can go in to ch towards Choke there, get a shot off, and then Alpha's just there to okay support him as players start to push him. But now nobody really uh, looking at Choke for the time being. Decimate was looking for something through the house side, but couldn't quite find it. So oh, Deadbolt there had an opportunity to get a shot off onto him, but not quite as Ash is also up on Spy as well. So we need to... Keep an eye on that. I'm not sure where he's at uh, right now looking for him. He's actually going to come through this flank side here and see what he can find. And I'm not sure if he was just spotted out or they were just shooting randomly. And I don't know if they got a good look at him there. And it, Yeah, they, they realized that he was on spy. So he's on back to sh soldier and players taking damage. But just a stalemate period here. Nobody wants to make this first move. 
Yeah, the time is James Bond for Ash didn't turn out. Like, right when he crossed that corner, they were looking decimated under threat. Mm. There he goes. So that will be good enough to go ahead and push. You hear the medic call out. We'll see how they do this. Grape is going to go in deep. He's trying to get onto KB. He's actually just trying to go behind. So he's trying to get them turned around. But Donsky's going to die in the confusion. So is Grape, but it's a little bit delayed. And losing a uh, trading your pocket for the demo is a trade you should take every day. KBK under threat. He's really low. There he goes. Ash has got him. And that is a disaster for Elevate. So God. great Uber from Grape there, even though it looked kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, on in favor of 20B, they managed to hold on to their Uber as well. So, I mean, they've got a full ad coming through here. KBK is still down. They don't have the heels. So, I mean, it's pretty much free reign for them to move forward. But they, they do have a lot of guys. Elevate does scatter throughout here. Shrugger's coming in from behind. A couple guys coming in through flank as well. And Badonsky's going to be spamming pipes up onto the point. Takes down Paragon with one of those pipes. And uh, a couple players from 20B going down here. Ash and Paragon both out of the equation for them. And Elevate wants to try and contest this. The Uber is forced out of Ninja Nick here. And he's all the way down at the bottom of Spire. And uh, Elevate with a good push back out here. They're getting time onto this point. Shrugger gets blasted off Spire. And Elevate just coming straight back out here to contest them. But a big bomb coming in through from Ash and taking down KBK. Badonski managed to finish him off with a pipe but still got the big pick. On to KBK, that's what they needed at the end of that fight since Ninja Nick went down. So Elevate will be able to come out into mid here and, and get this cap. But still, uh, Ninja Nick here is going to be at the at the forward spawn waiting for some sort of a teammate to come through as they all spawn up here. So they'll have slight add, but uh, for the most part will be evened out here. Well, one thing, uh, I hope Sizer said something. It looks like he did. Sizer is behind them, and they turned their whole team around, and now 20B gets mid for free. Yeah, that's so that really great play from Sizer there. Good, good to recognize that they were waiting on him. He is still behind them. He's running around in there last, just trying to, there are, there's one player looking for him, but it causes a, a precipitous fallback from Elevate. They... They're annoyed at Sizer to such a degree that it causes them to just keep backing up. So here we go. There is fighting here. Decimate trying to go for a big flank. Oh. And he's not going to get it. Shrugger goes in too. Also not going to get it. But there's Mela. And no, oh, he's not going to get it. Ninja Nick what a dodge from Ninja Nick. Oh my goodness. He jumped right over top of the rocket. And that kept him alive to have this full Uber that he has here to push in with Elevate down three players. They're going to bring it in straight through lower right here. Ninja Nick and Grape coming in, but the spawns are going to be up as well. Now that Uber gets popped off on the Grape. He's not going to be able to do too much with the gear as KBK started off uh, his pop as well to counter straight back into them there. Grape is going to go down to a rocket from Alpha, so now they're down a couple of players. They may need to look, uh, definitely need to look at getting back out here, though they did manage to get a frag onto Mela, so uh, only advantage of one player here for Elevate at the moment. Now we're evened out, so uh, regardless, seems like 20B's kind of getting pushed back here, but uh, what dodges from Ninja Nick, man? Yeah, that was huge. Also, another pretty big play, I can't, my, my short-term memory is not operating as I'd like it to, but Sizer or Paragon just devastated Vodonsky on that push-out. And he saw pipes coming up there, up the stairway, and he knew, oh, there's a demo man down there, and he's probably alone. And he <laughs> ran right down and put him in the side zone immediately and died. But that's a trade you should take every day. Grape is bombing Woo! this point. It's not going to turn out to be anything. Alpha is trying to go big, but there are two scouts on him, so that's uh, that's no more friend from originally from Romania. And now they've allowed their second point to be capped. Trying to work forward here, Elevate is. They've gotten a full Uber here. They're sitting in, in towards this choke right now. Looks like they want to take it in kind of towards house. They're leaning that way. Not sure if they're going to decide to ultimately go that direction they're seeming like they're trying to figure some things out right now but 20b getting set up for their push on through here ash is just going to go for a bomb right in on the kbk but a good dodge from kbk didn't take any damage from those rockets so that'll be ash out of it here and shrugger's going to be coming in from the flank 20b not looking at the flank at all there's a scout coming in from underneath now they're finally aware of it shrugger goes down mail is going to be out as well and 20b's got a slight number advantage here that they could work in with 
Elevate realizes this. They've, they've pushed themselves all the way back, and Sizer's going to be in towards upper lobby as well to just harass them a little bit more. He gets himself out there as well. So uh, 20 B is going to pick up this Spire point once again. Elevate has to back up all the way to last. They don't have Alpha. He's going to be down for another 10 seconds or so. Will they decide to push in off of it? They're waiting inside of upper lobby, still uh, just holding off on it. Looks like they might just waiter out here and I don't see any off-classing except for Alpha on Pyro. Yeah, Alpha's been doing that so far, but with the, are we going to see? Yeah, this is the oh. timed rockets to the lower right door. It hurts Mela pretty bad, but what you want there is the demo to be over there, because a lot of demos do stand there. And that's a almost guaranteed kill if you uh, time your rockets, or you sync your rockets correctly. So we'll probably see a suicide or something. It's probably not going to be the most glamorous suicide in the history of Badlands last, because there's a pyro in the way of the medic. Or, we might just see someone walk all the way back to confuse them, but it doesn't look like we're doing that just yet. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the waiting game for these guys here, and Elevate is still up by around here, folks. They won the first half 3-2, to two, and 20B hasn't yet been able to get around back here. They're in position to get in towards this last point, but they need to initiate some sort of a play here, get something, uh, maybe go in for a suicide and come up on you know, some sort of a pick class to, to get their push in here. As they're looking towards this lower area here. They're getting the buffs out. Maybe going to send somebody in. They do have a sentry up. Shrugger did put a sentry up there. And they tried sending Paragon right onto the point to get some sort of cap time. But, of course, uh, the stick's going to get deaded right away there from, from Badonsky. So they are down a player. But, obviously, expect Paragon to come up on something here. Let's see. Maybe not. Yeah, odd. So, yeah, we'll see what uh, they're trying to do. I thought maybe it would be a, a switch, but no, Paragon is back, so I guess they're just pleased with this. I Seasons ago, when I still played really regularly, I tried to develop a strategy that would work for Uber versus Uber on Badlands Last that didn't require off-classing, and let me tell you, it's a little hard. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, it's it's not like you can really get in to do much of anything. If you pop into them and there goes Sizer, he's going to go down, so maybe he'll come up on something. Uh, I mean, I feel like uh, you pretty much have to. As, as you were saying, it's pretty difficult to really get in here and come out on the better end of an Uber v Uber fight, especially when they have a Pyro, uh, Sentry, and... You know, whatever else they're going to throw at you here. Mela goes down, though. They did get a pick on him, and that is certainly going to initiate this push here. Both Ubers getting popped off. They deny it well. Alpha does with that Pyro. As he, he took a majority of that Uber in and will just pretty much reset here as no further frags came through. I mean, Ash and Decimate both went down here in an exchange of players, and, and the spawn timers will be slightly in favor of 20B here. The sentry gun is still up. Podonsky has gone down, though, so maybe this is a time for them to get in here, but the problem is the sentry still being up. Deadbolt does take care of it. Paragon goes down. Deadbolt going straight into the point. Wasn't quite able to cap it off. Alpha with a heads-up play there to defend the point, but 20B is just down. Too many players now. They gotta back up. Ninja Nick could get screwed here. As he's trying to want to run away from Decimate, but Ash will be there to aid him, so an unsuccessful push there for 20B. Couldn't get anything going, and uh, that lack of a util class didn't uh, didn't do too much for them there. They want to try and defend this second point, though. They're in on it. Grape goes down, but they finally get Alpha, who's on Pyro for the longest time. Paragon in, trying to get something onto KBK here. Gets a little bit of damage out onto him, but can't quite really find the frag here. But he's going to go straight in on Badonsky. A great pick for Paragon here, but the Uber was forced on... Uh, unfortunately for 20B, their Uber was forced, but that's going to give room for Elevate here to just come right back into them. They get the frag. Sizer, Paragon, both down. KBK with a full Uber here as well. So Spire incoming for the cap, and they should be able to take this mid here with uh, with relative ease as well. Yeah, they botched that Spire defense. There were, there were some opportunities there to try for a back cap or to get a concerted push going, but they kind of left their combo out to dry. And Mela sneaks through the valley... They didn't really know they were there, the, uh, but luckily Ninja Nick and the 20B were backed up enough, but it strips them of their opportunity to try to force this Uber, so no leapfroggery shenanigans, and they're, having, they're piling all the way out. 
They do have Paragon on Sniper, however. That's going to force the Uber out early. So they get it out on second. The Uber is still building over here for 20B. They want this fight to be over Spire. And there are a Decimate and an Alpha behind them. Paragon and Decimate in a fight. Paragon is going to win. And Alpha going to go down to Sizer. So they're going to get all the people that were sent behind them. But Ash and Grape are going to die. So now it's a 3v4, but the Uber is in play. Yeah, Ninjanix got that full Uber, and he is ready to send it on forward. He's bringing in Paragon and Deadbolt in. Oh, good rockets coming out from Melo, though. Had an opportunity to drop Ninjanix, but he was very aware of it there. Badonski almost dying as well, but the Uber was forced, so a good play for Melo to get that Uber out. And that's going to equalize the situation of Ubers here for uh, for Elevate, but regardless, 20B trying to get in on to second here. Deadbolt jumped himself up there, managed to get some cap time down, but it looks like they will finally uh, be able to pick up on this cap as Badonski actually did go down. He'll be back up before the last fight comes in, though. Ubers are even, and uh, probably going to see it stalemate out here a bit once again until these guys get something going. Shrugger up on the on the, uh, the Texas man, uh, building his sentry guns, the seventh man, decimate on sniper, and alpha on pyro as well, and still no util class here for 20B. Yeah, they're going to have to run their suicide. A little bit of an embarrassing moment for uh, Cyrus the Virus, a.k.a. Badonsky. He, uh, he was trying to do something kind of sneaky in the, the side house there, and then was like, ah, I can't do this. So he just went to sticky jump to Diag, which is, you know, that's fine, whatever. And then as he was crossing into the shutter door on Greybridge, a spammed scattergun shot killed him. <laughs> oh, goodness. From, from choke. So that's a little sad. Decimate gonna go down, Paragon gonna die as well. So no more Sniper, no more Scootaloo. And uh, Ash trying to get a little cheeky down in the side, but he'll be okay. Pyro trying to make people's lives difficult, but uh, we'll see. Is Paragon going to come up as a thing? Yes, he is. He will be Sniper. We go. Finally, 20B going for an off class here. They are still down one round, and I'm not sure exactly how much time is left on the half, but I imagine we're at least halfway through here, so 20B does need to find a round here soon to even things up, and... They're going to be hoping it starts off with a pick from Paragon here to give them this lane to get on into last tier. So we'll see if he can find the frag as Decimate is still up on Sniper as well. But he's going to be looking at something completely different. He's going for a look down at lower. Maybe tried getting something onto Badonski there, but not going to find it. So it's just the battle of the Snipers right now. Who can get this opening pick to initiate this play? And one team's either going to be pushing into last or out of last. So, I have to wait and see. Only time will tell, Marxist. Yep, we're waiting on the snipers, and Paragon going way back. I don't know what he's trying to do here. hes I guess he was hoping they'd lose track of him. And uh, Sizer actually really hurt. He got headshot, and uh, he has to pull out. Ooh, and there it is. Decimate going to go down to Paragon, but they're kind of even right now with Sizer being out. We'll see if Sizer decides to... To go as an off class again? No, he's not. And we we have the Uber coming in from the opposite side. They're gonna Grape is just gonna try to get up on the point, but it's not gonna work. The pyro traps him in the tube, and uh, Ubers are just popped off, and that is that, as they say. But the repush may be coming. Pressure, and yeah, there oh, we go. Sizer, yeah. sneaky sneaks. <laughs> Oh, the sneaky sneaks indeed. Oh, man, I I was expecting that to be a lost cause for 20B there. I mean, I thought maybe on the repush they would have uh, some sort of an opportunity, but there they go. They tie it up. We are at three rounds apiece here in our lower bracket final. This is map one of the best of three. Very important matchup for these two teams here. Mela's going to go for that delay play again, but Ash tried to get in onto him, but Mela gets the better of him on the exchange. So Badonski and Shrug are both down for Elevate right now, though, and Grape and Ash are going to be out of play for 20B. So four on four on this mid here. Deadpool got rocked with a rocket, managed to stay alive, but eventually Decimate cleaning up on that damage that got put out there. Mela finds Sizer as well, and Ninjanik will escape here. Alpha's <laughs> running on in here with his equalizer out, but Ninjanik did 
stay alive. He will keep the Uber that he had. He's at 70%. KBK up on his, and I don't know if they can really do too much to defend last year, so maybe just a forward hold uh, for the time being and uh, try and build up the rest of this Uber and get ready for their last defense. Yeah, Mail is actually in a lot of trouble. And then Shucker steals his health back. So oh, that's, uh, you know, things like that happen when you're trying to defend Spire. But they're chilling here. We got Paragon and Sizer now. They get to play defensive off classes. Where did he put that gun? Oh, that's in the usual spot. I thought he was going to get real creative. But Alpha, he saw Hard Blue go spy earlier. And he could not let that go unpunished. So oh, he yeah. is going to walk all the way up the Spire. Refusing to use the much easier to use shutter doors, perhaps because he wants to use the lobby door. The ways of the Wily Alpha are not known <laughs> to me. And then he's going to jump down, so he could have just walked in the shutter door, but he wanted it to be convincing, I guess. And uh, hopefully he doesn't get accidentally killed by Paragon here. <laughs> he's hiding by the fire hydrant, okay, he makes it back onto the back stairwell. And now you're going to let it charge. Maybe he could kill Paragon when he peeks out again. He, oh, he's he's in the zone right oh. now. Oh my goodness. It's Oh, he's going to go straight in for it here for Ninja Dick. And he takes him down with the backstab. There it is. Finally, Alpha getting it. And that is a huge drop. That should allow Elevate to come right in here. They're going to have an uncontested Uber advantage. Flying in through here. Sentry goes down right away. There's still sticks on the point. They're trying to blast them off of there. KBK still has the Uber up, though, and will give Badonsky some heals, but he gets blasted up there and eventually finished off by Sizer, who's up on heavy here, but only two players left alive. 420B right now. It's Ninja Nick trying to keep Sizer alive for long enough, and he does so. Sizer picked up a couple of extra frags there on heavy as well, but uh, the, the big plays there, the first real big spy play I think we've seen of this land. Uh, goes to no avail though. Alpha gets the drop, but they weren't quite able to capitalize on that opportunity. Yeah, and another factor here is that you've got Sizer on 20B, and Sizer has been in it since the beginning, and he's also played in most of the all-time great Badlands matches, so he knows what you're gonna try to do to him to get rounds, because he probably did it at one time. And, <laughs> and... He also played in a lot of the greatest G-Pit matches of NTF2 history, so he's pretty good at heavy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I think it uh, goes to show there, managed to hold down last with it, so there you go. It's Ninja Nick up on his Uber. 100% KBK will be up shortly as well as... We take a look at the off-classes, Sizer is on... The Australian sniping man and Paragon will be on the NG as well. He's got his level 3 set up here, so we'll see what they decide to go in with. Mela is going to go for some offensive pyro here, it looks like, to try and bring this on in. And we've seen Mela do it many times throughout the season here, just run pyro at random points throughout the game, not necessarily in a defensive position. And Sizer gets a big shot onto Alpha there taking him down, so that'll leave Elevate at a bit of a disadvantage here. I don't know if 20B is going to decide to push off of this. I mean, they're still waiting around here. Alpha, or excuse me, Mela's still uh, rocking the pyro here, but Decimate picks up two frags onto Ash and Sizer with a scatter gun, so maybe this is time for them to come in here. Uh, yet they have a two-player advantage, still haven't really decided to go in with it yet. There's a sentry there, that's the problem, and they don't really have anything to take it down. Finally popping off, almost! Losing Badonski in the process, and there'll be them straight onto the point, and nobody there to contest it. They just sent them in uh, lower right, I believe it was. The scout just got right on through, and they will cap that point off. And once again, we have 20B not watching the point. Yeah, and the Badlands point does cap really, really fast in 20B's defense. So yeah. you have to really be on your game, and they they let themselves be backed into spawn. So, Elevate taking a lead here, and we gotta be down uh, to the uh, minimums of time here. I believe we're around five minutes or so here. So, right away, Badonski and Alpha have both gone down on this mid here. Ninja Nick kind of trapped in this corner, and Shrugger's inside of the house. I don't know if anybody's aware of it. I think Sizer is here. He's gonna be battling it out with him and takes him down. And I did see a crossbow kill come through, but it's only Shrugger that managed to make it out of that mid. So, a good. A good response from 20B there, and they're going to pick up this mid, and Ninja Nick stayed alive, KBK died, so now it is a big Uber ad for, for the Hoops boys.
Once they get a soldier here, aka Grape, they could push this into last if they hurried. The forward hold is starting to be established, but they're taking their time because they decided to have Shrugger decided it was a good idea to have an NG. So they need this is oh they, yeah you need to just run in as quickly as you can and get at this before they set up and they uh, did not give themselves that opportunity and now they're going to go to classic European strategy going through the lower right not executed very often in America gonna see Ash debt himself on the point and the medic Ninja Nick as well. Going oh. to die on the point. They're trying to get it. No, they're not. It's not unless Paragon goes huge. Grape. He's trying. He's trying his best. Great Grape Grape. Grape. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the plays from Great coming right in from lower right. And uh, I saw him creeping his way up there, and Paragon did just enough to to delay it there as long as he could. Great came in from the opposite side. They were looking excellent coordination there assuming they tried to coordinate that but it seemed very well done from them and tying it up here with only five minutes and 51 seconds remaining here so about five and a half left as we move forward here ninja nick's already taken a good bit of damage here they're gonna come straight in for melo will take him down but ash responds with a frag on the kbk alpha will fall as well and ash oh my goodness frags coming across the board here badonski and decimate the only two up and sizer and deadbolt uh, for them, Podonsky actually goes down, so Sizer managed to pick up on that frag as well as the one on to Decimate. Both medics went down on the mid, though, but uh, Elevate coming out, or excuse me, 20B coming out with the mid win here. KPK is going to have a slight ad here moving forward, not by too much, just 10%. So 20B wants to get themselves up towards this choke here, get ready to push that second point. Yep, they. Elevate is playing this pretty passively as they assemble, but they're going to move forward eventually. And we've got 20B having a little camping party over here on the right side <laughs> train car. So they're playing a little careful too. Everybody's kind of got that feel. They're in a 4-4 Badlands match at land. So that's kind of what you always imagine in your head when you practice things for this game. You're like, okay, well... What am I gonna do if it's 4-4 at LAN? <laughs> yeah, and this is, it's a very crucial point, crucial game in this series here. We are in the lower bracket, so whoever loses this best of three is, uh, is saying see ya for the rest of the event. So we'll see what, uh, what they make of it here. 20B, they have the Uber and Elevate's still not quite up on theirs yet. They'll, they'll be there in about 10% though, and no util classes for either either team right now so it's gonna be the waiting game between these guys and the time has got to be winding down here I'm not sure I mean at this point is is you know 20 bit well they get the frag on to Mela, so uh, it gets exchanged out though by Ash going down and Elevate moving in towards this flank side actually I think they're gonna catch Paragon out yes they will so three players down for 20b and now they're gonna have to back up as Elevate comes flying through here a couple good rockets and an engine he wants to try and milk this further he does hanging on to that Uber, but they've got Alpha coming in. He's going to have to pop it off and try and get something into KBK. Maybe they would love to force him here. Grape needs to get this force on the KBK here. He's trying to get through, but not able to. Absolutely denied, though. Once again got in, but only got KBK down to 100 health. So Elevate's going to look good here for a final push coming through. They have this full Uber advantage, and we need to be down, I would assume, into the last two minutes of this game right now as... Elevate getting themselves set up. There's only two players up for 20B right now. This should be a pretty routine take. They do have the demo up. The Uber gets popped, and they're going to be on the point right now. Stick still of not dead. They finally do that, trying to get set back out there. They take down KBK. There's so much time on the point. Mela steps onto it and caps out for Elevate there, and they take that first map, and that will be, oh my goodness, down to the wire. And, uh... Wow. Uh, wow, that was an incredible first map. Yeah, I was, uh, I was pleased. Probably, you know, it was one of the better, better land badlands I've seen in a while. So that was, that was very pleasing. 20B and Elevate battled back throughout there. They almost held that. Just, just barely. Maybe a second or two with that, that 
uh, soldier walking to point, if he were a little bit slower, they would have held that. Oh, I know. It was it was very close. And if we take a look at the stats here, as you guys can see him up on the screen there, Shrugger, top frag in this game, sitting at 35 kills, only 200 DPM, but a big 35 kills in general, which uh, definitely helped help those guys out and uh, it was it was uh, good stuff from him once again as we've seen all land and decimate as well sitting at 32 frags 23 deaths and the big 250 dpm there and uh the scouts pretty much the tail of the tape for this game here i mean your your top four guys are all scouts shrugger decimate sizer paragon uh good stuff all across the board from him uh, well you know what do you think about all this marxist yeah, that's um part of that is indicative of how just how important the mids were to each team because whichever team scouts sort of played off of each other the best would just win the mid. So and while that's generally the case for most mids, it's it really comes into play when you've got a really hot scout like Shrugger and Sizer who's also doing quite well for himself. So that's you know do they cancel each other out whose scout partner helps them up who or does other things on the side like like decimate doing he did a tremendous amount of damage for a scout in that in that yeah. particular game he out damaged grape <laughs> wow. damage per minute and also just raw total damage like look at that yeah that's uh, it certainly came up big uh, for him there as well as Shrugger. So, uh, I mean, in general, though, pretty even across the board. I mean, very close stats uh, amongst all the, the major categories here for the most part uh, between Street Hoops and Elevate here. But Elevate managing to squeak it out 5-4 in the last couple minutes of the game. So they will take map one in this best of three in our lower bracket. And I'm being told that the players are kind of getting up, walking around a little bit and taking a break after that long and grueling game there. So I think that is going to give us an opportunity to go ahead and take a break here. I sure need to uh, catch my breath, get some water, all that kind of thing. So don't go anywhere, guys. Map two of our lower bracket finals will be coming up shortly here on ESEA3 and Team Fortress TV.